we're going to explain how to send an Outlook email on behalf of someone else. This is useful if you need to send an email from your colleague's account, perhaps while they're out of office, but you need to maintain the sender's identity. There are two main ways to do this, depending on whether your organization's Outlook setup allows it. First, we'll look at the standard method, which requires specific permissions. One, getting the necessary permissions. This is the crucial first step. You can't send on someone's behalf without their explicit permission. They need to grant you Send A's rights to their mailbox. This is typically done through the Outlook web app, OWA, or by your organization's IT administrator. Two, accessing the Send A's permission. Once the permission is granted, open your Outlook and go to File, then Account Settings, and then Delegate Access. You might see it under a slightly different wording depending on your Outlook version. Three, composing the email. Once you've got the Send A's permission, composing the email is straightforward. When creating a new email, you'll notice a From field. You should now see your colleague's email address listed as an option alongside your own. Select their address and then compose and send your email as normal. The recipient will see the email as originating from your colleague, not you. Now let's talk about the second method, which is less common but still relevant. Four, using send on behalf of. This option is less common but gives you even more control. It allows you to send from their account but clearly shows that it was sent by you as well. It typically appears in the same from field. However, it's usually handled through admin level permissions within Outlook. Five, checking the settings. If send as or send on behalf of doesn't appear, double check with your IT administrator or your colleague to ensure the permissions have been correctly set up. This is crucial because your colleague's permission settings determine whether this functionality is available. Six, security and best practices. It's critically important to only send emails on behalf of someone with their explicit permission and for legitimate business purposes. Remember to keep login details and access to other accounts secure to prevent unauthorized use. In short, get the right permissions. This is the key. And then choose send as or send on behalf of from the from field in the compose window when writing your email. If you don't see these options, ensure the necessary permissions are set up by your IT admin or your colleague's account settings. Remember security and responsibility when using these